Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the parabolas with vertex at the origin. In the last video, we have defined parabola as a set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point and the fixed line. The fixed point is called the focus of the parabola and the fixed line is called the directrix. Also, we have determined the general form of the equation of the parabola as a second degree polynomial in two variables, that is, ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero or ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero, where a, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. Furthermore, we have also discussed that if the squared term of the parabola is x, then the parabola either opens upward or downward. On the other hand, if the squared term of the parabola is y, then the parabola either opens to the right or to the left. This time, let us discuss the standard form of the equation of a parabola with vertex at the origin. The standard form of the equation of the parabola with vertex at 0, 0, is given by x squared equals 4py or y squared equals 4px, where 4p is the length of the lattice rectum and p is the distance of the vertex from the directrix and from the focus. Here, note the importance of the values of 4p and p since they represent the length of the lattice rectum and the distance of the vertex from the directrix and the focus respectively. Let us have some examples to better understand these concepts. Determine the opening, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, length, and the coordinates of the lattice rectum of the parabola with equation x squared equals 4y. In this equation, since the squared term is x, then the parabola either opens upward or downward. Remember this, if 4p is positive and the squared term is x, then the parabola opens upward. If 4p is negative, then the parabola opens downward. Therefore, here, since 4p is equal to 4, then, it opens upward. Next thing to do, since 4p equals 4, then it only means that the length of the lattice rectum is equal to 4 units. Likewise, since 4p equals 4, it only follows that p equals 1. Hence, the focus and the directrix are one unit away from the vertex. Let us have an illustration to easily determine the elements of the graph of the parabola. From before, we have determined that the vertex of the parabola is at the origin, and it opens upward. Also, since 4p equals 4 and p equals 1, this means that the focus and the directrix are one unit away from the vertex. Before we locate our focus, let us first plot our vertex. So our vertex is at the origin 0, 0. So this is your vertex. Locating the focus, remember that it is in the interior of the parabola. Since our parabola opens upward, then it means that our focus is somewhere here above our vertex. Remember that P equals 1 and our focus is 1 unit away from the vertex. Therefore, our focus is this point. With coordinates 0, 1. On the other hand, since the directrix is a line outside the parabola and is one unit away from the vertex, 
we can say now that this line is the directrix. And this line is y equals negative 1. The length of the lattice rectum is 4 units. Hence, its endpoints are 2 units to the right and to the left of our focus. So therefore, these are the endpoints of the lattice rectum. And this segment is our lattice rectum. The coordinates now of the endpoints of the lattice rectum are negative 2, 1, and 2, 1. So when we draw our parabola, our parabola goes this way. From the graph, notice that the axis of symmetry that divides the parabola into two equal parts is the line x equals 0 or the y-axis. Here is the better illustration of the graph of the parabola x squared equals 4y. Let us have another example. Determine the opening, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, length, and the coordinates of the lattice rectum of the parabola with equation y squared equals 16x. In this equation, since the square term is y, the parabola either opens to the right or to the left. Remember this, if 4p is positive and the square term is y, then the parabola opens to the right. If 4p is negative, then the parabola opens to the left. Therefore, since our 4p in this equation equals 16, then this parabola opens to the right. Next thing to do, since 4p equals 16, then it only means that the length of our lattice rectum is equal to 16 units. Moreover, since 4p is equal to 16, it follows that p is equal to 4. Therefore, the focus and the directrix are 4 units away from the vertex. Let us have an illustration to easily determine the elements of the graph of the parabola. From before, we have determined that the vertex of the parabola is at the origin, or 0, 0, and it opens to the right. Also, since 4p equals 16 and p equals 4, this means that the focus and the directrix are 4 units away from the vertex. Before locating our focus, let us first plot our vertex. So once again, our vertex is at 0, 0. Locating the focus, remember that it is in the interior of the parabola. Since our parabola opens to the right, then our focus is somewhere here. And since it is 4 units away from the vertex, then it is the point 4, 0. On the other hand, since the directrix is a line outside the parabola and is 4 units away from the vertex, then we can conclude that our directrix is the line x equals negative 4. As we have stated before, the length of the lattice rectum is 4p, so therefore, the length of the lattice rectum is 16 units. Since the length of the lattice rectum is 16 units, then it only follows that its endpoints are 8 units above and below the focus. Locating the endpoints of the lattice rectum, we need to count 8 units above and below our focus. That would be the point 4, 8, 
and 4 comma negative 8. So this segment here is our latus rectum which is 16 units in length. Therefore, we can now draw our parabola this way. From the graph, notice that the axis of symmetry that divides the parabola into two equal parts is the line y equals 0 or the x-axis. Here is the better illustration of the graph of the parabola y squared equals 16x. Finally, let us have our last example. Determine the opening, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, length, and the coordinates of the latus rectum of the parabola with the equation x squared equals negative 10y. In this equation, since the squared term is x, the parabola opens upward or downward. But since 4p is equal to negative 10, then the parabola opens downward. Next thing to do, since 4p equals negative 10, then it only means that the length of the latus rectum is 10 units. Moreover, since 4p equals 10, then it follows that p is equal to 5 over 2 or 2.5. Hence, the focus and the directrix are 2.5 units away from the vertex. Let us have an illustration to easily determine the elements of the graph of the parabola. From before, we have determined that the vertex of the parabola is at the origin 0, 0. And the parabola opens downward. Also, since P equals 2.5, this means that the focus and the directrix are 2.5 units away from the vertex. Since our parabola opens downward, this means that our focus is below the vertex, which is 2.5 units away from it. So therefore, we have here 1, 2.5. So therefore, the coordinates of our focus are 0, comma, negative 2.5. At the same manner, the directrix is outside the parabola, so meaning it is above the vertex that is 2.5 units away from it, we have this line. This line is y equals 2.5. The length of the latus rectum is 4p, which is equal to 10 units. It only follows that the endpoints of the latus rectum are 5 units to the right and to the left of our focus. So, locating our endpoints, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this point, and 1, 2, 3.5, this point. So therefore, the coordinates of the latus rectum are negative 5, comma, negative 2.5 and 5, comma, negative 2.5. So when we draw our parabola, it will go this way. And this segment here, Connecting the two endpoints of the latus rectum is equal to 10 units. From the graph, notice that the axis of symmetry that divides the parabola into two equal parts is the line x equals 0 or the y-axis. Here is the better illustration of the graph of the parabola of x squared equals negative 10y. 
Here is the summary of the formula in determining the elements of the parabola. If you were given x squared equals 4py, then your parabola either opens upward or downward. The focus is at 0, comma positive or negative p. The directrix is the line y equals positive or negative p. The axis of symmetry is x equals 0. The length of the latus rectum is 4p units. And the coordinates of the latus rectum are positive negative 2p, comma p or positive negative 2p, comma negative p. On the other hand, if the equation of your parabola is y squared equals 4px, then the opening of your parabola is either to the right or to the left. The focus is at positive negative p, comma 0. The directrix is the line x equals positive negative p. The axis of symmetry is the line y equals 0. The length of latus rectum is also equal to 4p units. And finally, the coordinates of the latus rectum are either p, comma, positive negative 2p or negative p, comma, positive negative 2p. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about parabolas with vertex at h, comma, k. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.